so, so this is like the coolest thing about a window in Norway. See how you got these little grooves around the whole thing? And then you just put those things with a little lip in, inside that track. And it just finishes it perfectly. So this is the profile. I mean, these are super wide. They're 30, they're 12 inches. Then you got that little profile that slides right into the groove and it just makes a perfect finish. I guess we weren't done with the winter. Hey, so it's Monday and um, let's see, I'm putting the card in this time lapser once again. Still got to make the video. I haven't done that yet. There. Done. 
So now y'all are getting time lapses again. Yeah. Electricians have begun. Got a black receptacle there. Still got to do that one. These on the tile are going to be white. Like that. So that's, that's going to look all right. Tonight's project is drilling holes. I got to drill some holes for down lights. Uh, up here, one over here, and one down there. Uh, so that's five here. And then I have, I don't know, like seven or eight. Oh yeah, fridge. So I got most of the appliances. So just wishing, wishing, washing, wow, whoa, hello. Just missing the washer dryer combination thingamajigger. So, oh wow, look at this. Whoever said winter was over? Not exactly. It's crazy. That's green grass and snow. Nice. Anyway, just missing the washer dryer combination and the oven. That's missing yet. But I have the fridge and the nuker and the cooktop and the dishwasher. So that's all here. Haven't put it in the things yet, but it's coming. Uh, more holes out here. I got to drill some more holes for the down lights. And the down lights, I don't know if you guys see them yet. It's kind of like a general lighting down light, uh, kind of like an American four inch can. Except it's not a can, it's LED and it's Philips Hue. Um, Philips Hue Phoenix. I like the light from these. They're a lot more like a general lighting uh, light than, uh, than the European down light. The down lights are much more narrow and that's a much wider light. So I'm hoping that's gonna look all right. Um, what we've done in the meantime, or this weekend was spent um, putting up some smart home stuff. I'll do a more detailed video on that later, but as of right now. So today has been spent in front of the computer screen, primarily. And this pile of stuff is getting hooked up just now. I just have the lights kind of, the LED strips just kind of laid out here. Um, so, Ingle. Oh, it hasn't booted up yet. I got a Google Home Mini sitting right here. Just, just you know, just for testing. Hey, Google, turn off the living room lights. Sorry, I couldn't reach Sensio Beta. All right. So I'm using a, a controller from a company in Norway called Sensio. Uh, I'm using X Comfort and Sensio in this house for smart home steering controls, whatever. Uh, Philips Hue is kind of like a new integration for them. And, and so far I know one controller is working or one Philips Hue bridge. The second Philips Hue bridge, however, they're working on it. So I'm hoping that's gonna get ironed out soon. Uh, I'm gonna have more than or right around 100 Zigbee light link objects in this house. So I need more than one Philips Hue bridge. And um, I have to interface both of those from the Sensio controller. Otherwise I can only steer half the house at a time. So that's gotta get done. But uh, you know, if I can't do that, I'll run something like Home Assistant or OpenHab or something until they figure it out. Because I really want one platform for the whole house. Heating, heat pump, the whole thing lighting, whatever. I want one platform. And I'm gonna have one screen sitting right over there where I want everything on, not just parts of it, and then I gotta switch in between. So I want everything right on one, you know, one pane of glass. So, anyway. Let's drill some holes so the electrician can start putting up some down lights.
the crazy thing is in. So I had to move it up a bit. I, I was going to put it on the very bottom, but then the doors wouldn't have matched. So I had to be able to open, you know, the, the freezer separately from the fridge part. And if, if it was sitting where it was, then I couldn't have opened the fridge without also opening the freezer. And that's super impractical. Mm -hmm. But now it's in. I just got to attach the doors to the doors. The doors to the doors. Okay, well, I got to merge the doors and then we're good. So, all right. It's, let's see, what time is it? 11, after 11. I got to go to bed. Monday out. So I gotta tell you, drilling these holes in the drywall after I've patched it, or not patched it, but uh, mudded it and painted it and done all that fancy stuff to it, and then I'm cutting holes in it. That takes balls, I'm telling you. And I had to, you know, hit the boxes up there too, and I did, so now we're ready to wire these things. And then we have one over there and one over there left. Can you figure it out? Okay, well, I better come help you then. It's, it's too difficult for me. Oh no, you, you can do it. Let's see it. So the electrician's done a pretty good job putting measurements on everything. So the center of the, center of the thing above the drywall is 25 centimeters and 75 centimeters. So it's roughly there. I figured it out. Okay, so another day of nerding. Um, I got a really cool box of stuff today. I'm running the Sensio controller and it has the Z-Wave Me plugin in it. So I can run Z-Wave devices. Yeah, it looks like a pregnancy test, but it's not. It's a window detector or a window sensor. So I'll be able to know when the windows in my house are open. And if the house is in away mode, then I'll get notified that the window's open, which basically causes it to work like an alarm system, <laughs> essentially. Uh, obviously, I shouldn't rely on it like that, but uh, I, I could. And then I can make things happen. Say I'm away and a window opens, the light will turn on, or music will start playing, or something like that. Uh, I can do the same thing with all doors. I'll have one of these on each window and on each door. And um, yeah, that'll basically en envelop my house and sensors. And I'm also running the, um, um, all right, 
this thing is cool. It's the uh, AOTech Multi-Sensor 6. Um, it records or senses humidity, uh, light, uh, temperature, motion. Yeah. So I'll have one of these in a lot of the rooms, like the bathroom, walk-in closet, uh, various places. And uh, I can do things based on those, uh, those values. So this is going to be super cool. I'm really loving it so far. So that's the uh, sensitive door window strip. So basically it's got a little LED thing there. Uh, oh yeah, it's got a 10 year battery life. Can you believe that? It's this little tiny thin thing and it's got a 10 year lifespan. How cool mm -hmm. is that? And if I put it there, Mm -hmm. Then it just did something, and then it did something else. So, window closed, window open. And there, just send the data and said, I opened. Pretty cool, huh? So, I'm just putting this inside the groove, inside the jam, and it's thin. I mean, it's 2.8 millimeters thin, it, it's tiny. And then the magnet gets placed on the side of the actual window. And then that communicates, or not communicates, but the, the sensor senses that the magnet hits it and then it fires off a Z-Wave event. And then that gets synced into the Sensi controller and then I get to see a light in my app for more than one window. Probably easier to do this from the outside. So I've placed it the same exact spot as the other one, so I'm going to place the magnet in the same location as well. It worked in the other window, and these two windows are exactly identical, so that should work. All right. Now let's test it. So there it is, <clears throat> and a little groove inside the, the jam, and then the magnet is put right there, and then when I close the window, the magnet meets the sensor, done. The window's open, and the window is closed, and the light goes out. Open, closed. Done. What is that? That is my chandelier. <laughs> so my dad picked it up from the post office. All the way from China. <laughs>